Hello and welcome back to this new puzzle. Today I'm gonna show you how you can trade a descending channel on Aussie dollar and New Zealand dollar. They are very similar to each other. On the first one we are going to look at this piece of the wave. What we are gonna do here at this moment is that I'm connecting the higher part of the tops by creating in this way the resistance line and by connecting the lower parts of the wave we are creating the support line. What the price usually do is that when it is making lower lows and lower highs it keeps developing some time in a way that it creates this type of descending channel. At the moment of time, in time, price tend to bounce above the channel and after that it continues to move higher. What we are going to do in this scenario and in front of FOMC is that we need to be patient as beginning. We need to wait because FOMC is a very volatile event and it is one of the most uh, important events for the US market and after that we are going to trade. The potential scenarios that can happen right now in the actual situation is that if FOMC is going to be dovish, so they are going to share a dovish sentence, then we can see Australian dollar to bounce above the channel and after that it can continue moving higher. Another scenario is that during the FOMC event, during the press conference, price can move below the support area that we have and the first part of the, of the support will be fine, will be found close to the support line again. So exists the possibility that we can see the price moving lower up to 0.6810. After that, we can see a price reaction that can push the price higher again. However, let's suppose that the FOMC is going to be hawkish this time, very aggressive price movement, price can move below the channel and it can continue moving lower. The reason that I have placed this price area here close to 0.6550 it's for a simple reason because at this price level it is also located a harmonic pattern if price is going to come close at this area probably this is going to be the maximum for the wave extension from this point we can look at for the price to bounce up again. So this is a potential scenario that I am looking at on Australian dollar, American dollar, New Zealand USD. This is the next trade that I am looking at. Look at how the price it is actually developing close to this area. We can see approximately the same price development. I'm connecting the highs of the wave in order to create the resistance line for the channel. I'm going to clone it and you will see that this is approximately perfect. So we don't have to have uh, all the time a perfect channel. Even if we are going to make this expansion, it's all fine, we are going to be in a similar pattern, it's not a big deal at all. Look at where we are dealing at right now. Price is developing within the pattern by making lower lows and lower highs. We have the price that tested the low of the support area again. Usually most of the time when the price moves below the channel is because due to, is due to volatility, high volatility. So it's not a big problem at all. 
also in this scenario we need to be patient and wait we need to see if FOMC is going to be bullish or dovish and after that we need to take action also at this moment what we need to do we need to wait for price to bounce above the channel if FOMC is going to be dovish on the sentence and after that we are going to initiate the long trades because the market will, fo will be focused on the next bullish move because the next also the next FOMC is going to be approximately one month and a half from now so this will give time to the price to increase a lot during this period of time if everything if this is going to happen on the opposite side if price is going to move lower it can move lower it can make this movement but it can also face a support close to the line and it can move up again so just let's focus on one scenario because price can also uh, move lower you may think that this is going to lose momentum but on the other hand it keeps moving lower as well so these are the scenarios that i'm looking at for these descending channels in all of these patterns so australian dollar and uh, new zealand dollar hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe and press the like button for more future contents bye bye